Are you new to Etsy and want to know how to print out your shipping labels on Etsy? Well, you've come to the right place. I'm going to show you right now how to do this. Let's go. All right. So the first thing that you want to do is go to the orders and shipping tab here on the left in your shop manager dashboard. This will bring you to all of your orders that are ready to be shipped out. Now, you have a couple options here as far as your orders go. You can select uh, multiple orders here and then go at the top and click get shipping labels and it will let you do all the uh, shipping labels at once. And as you can see, there are multiple shipping labels. I can fill these out and then go to review and purchase these and print them all out at one time. So if you have a lot of orders coming in, this is the fastest way to do it. Now, if you only have one order, it is as simple as going to that order. I have to deselect these, going to that order, uh, selecting it here, uh, and then do get shipping labels at the top, or you don't even have to select it. You can go over here, it's the little uh, truck or little USPS vehicle, whatever you wanna do. Hit that guy and that will bring up the shipping label options. Now, here under label preset, you can do presets in here if you are not using calculated shipping. You have two options. Calculated shipping, which you put in the weight, the size of the object when you're creating the listing, and then when someone buys, Etsy will automatically take that, that money. Uh, and then when you do the printing uh, of the shipping label, it'll automatically uh, give you that amount in here or that uh, it'll preset the amount in here. Now, if you have fixed costs, uh, you wanna do your own costs. Like for me, I do a little bit less as far as shipping costs. And uh, so I have fixed costs. So I have presets in here of the different weights. Uh, and then the weights are attributed to the size. All my stuff is the same size, but you can always edit that under the package info here. You can edit the size, weight, uh, length, height, whatever you want to do. You can also edit the delivery service, but these under your shipping profile, you can do these presets, which will save you a lot of time for fixed costs and for calculated shipping costs. You can do the presets under the shipping profiles and then apply those specific profiles to whatever listings you want to do. If you sell a lot of the same stuff, you can do profiles and apply it to many of your listings. If you sell a lot of one-off items, you may not wanna do a profile. You may just wanna fill out each listing individually when you're setting up that listing to go live for sale. Uh, and then that is all selected. Uh, the information is all selected here. Uh, let me actually change this to the actual right amount. And then we are going to, it automatically populate the cost. I'm doing USPS ground advantage, but again, you have different options in here. Priority, Priority Mail Express, super expensive. And then what we're gonna do is go to review, and then you can offer to send yourself a copy of the notification. I wouldn't do that, it's gonna junk up your mailbox. But when you click purchase, it's gonna give you then the option to print out the packing slip and label. Uh, so I'm gonna show you that now. Right here is print out shipping label. Um, I have this sent to my printer. And then also I can do the print packing slip and I can have this printed as well. Now, one of the nice things that you can do is if I go back here, you can do, um, I can do a packing slip and an order receipt, uh, which if you want order receipts, it's extra paper. It's just gonna print out what is on the packing slip. Uh, if anything, just print out the packing slip and use that to know what you have to actually fulfill. But you can also customize options on your packing slip, which is really cool. So you can include your shop icon, ships from, any buyer notes, listing photos, private notes, cost breakdown. You can add a coupon code to the bottom of your packing slip. This is something you have to create in the marketing tab. And then you can put it on here and it'll automatically add it on the, buy them, uh, on the bottom there for repeat buyers, which is good. And then you can also add a personalized note, just thanking them, letting them know to reach out to you if there's any problems. Uh, and then you can have an order receipt option here. But that is it. That's how you do your printing out of your packing slips and your shipping labels on Etsy.